Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Lee Police seek two in connection with elaborate fraud case. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Security, dependability, and the latest technology. So what would be different if you switched to a local credit union to save on fees? Not much. You get a new card and more money to spend. To learn more, visit BetterValuesBetterBanking.com. Lee police call this the most elaborate fraud case the town has seen, and right now they're wondering if there are any other victims. Here's who police are looking for. Two suspects, a white woman and a black man. Last month, a Lee resident came to police saying he received a package at his house that he did not order. Then he realized he was locked out of his email and Amazon accounts. Police say the suspects used the victim's name and credit cards to buy camera equipment and gold coins totaling nearly $10,000. Investigators learned the suspects picked up the camera equipment on August 26th at a UPS warehouse in Dover where they were caught on video surveillance. One of them signed for the, for the uh, packages using the victim's name. We just tell a lot of our residents to be vigilant, don't give out your, um, your personal information on your social media, um, over the phone. If anything seems um, suspicious to them, it probably is. And if you suspect something like this is happening to you, police would like to hear from you. Also, anyone with information on this particular case is asked to call police. Reporting live in Lee, Mike Cronin, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that report. Trial begins for man accused in Barrington crash that killed two. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Hi, it's Joe Martin from Newport and Crosstown. Come in now for huge discounts. Giving you the best deal by far, Unique. Up to $11,000 off on all Ford F-Series trucks. Brand new Ford F-150 starting at only $27,900 or a new Ford Super Duty starting at only $29,900. How about a new Ford Fusion or Ford Escape? Pick one, only $19,900 or lease one for only $199 per month. Plus, save even more if you qualify for any of these extra Ford factory rebates. Prosecutors say 51-year-old John Shaw had a blood alcohol level almost twice the legal limit when he crossed the center line of Route 202 in Barrington on August 31st, 2013 and crashed head-on into a car driven by a 77-year-old minister and his wife, killing them both. There is an odor of alcohol emanating from Mr. Shaw, which is obvious to those who are coming in town. Contact with him, even though he's sitting outside of his vehicle. He is inquired of about this, and he readily admits that he's had a few. Shaw faces charges of negligent homicide and possession of a controlled drug tied to the death of Joel and Maxine McLean. The couple was driving back to their home in Maine when the crash happened. Prosecutors say Shaw played golf that day, then ate dinner and drank before heading home around 11 o'clock at night. County Attorney Thomas Velarde told the jury today that Shaw's car shot across the road like a missile before impact. But defense lawyers suggest that McLean's car may have drifted into oncoming traffic and Shaw was making a move to avoid a collision. No one can tell you what occurred in the microseconds or seconds preceding the accident. And it was a terrible accident. But prosecutors say Shaw's actions were no accident. Because this was, in fact, something that was entirely preventable. It just took some basic common sense and care on the part of Mr. Shaw to not have allowed it to happen. Testimony is expected to last until the end of next week. Putting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that report. Police face health dangers in fight against opiate epidemic. 
Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Most award-winning trucks on the road today. Drive the longest-lasting full-size pickup, the 2016 Silverado Double Cab LT four-wheel drive. Lease today for only $2.59 per month with no money down. Naked McMulkin. You know, I like to think I'm not easily taken aback, but I have to admit this one got me. What you see in this picture represents a deadly dose of heroin, that one right there. When it comes to fentanyl, you see that it's much less. Basically, what amounts to a few grains of salt will kill you. And every day, members of law enforcement deal with this toxic, toxic substance. And in this growing national crisis of addiction, it is taking its toll. September 14th, the Connecticut SWAT team seized 50,000 bags of heroin during a major bust at a home in Hartford. But for breathing the air inside of it, 11 officers had to be hospitalized. A few of the members became to feel dizzy, nauseous, uh, some of them vomited. Because what they couldn't see were the invisible airborne particles of the synthetic painkiller known as fentanyl. I felt like my body was shutting down. In New Jersey, a police roll call video offers the testimony of two officers who very nearly overdosed by simply opening a plastic baggie. It was just a little little bit, just a little bit of powder just puffed up in the air. You treat everything as if it was a hazardous material until you know what it is. Manchester Police Sergeant Chris Sanders is acutely aware of the deadly potency of fentanyl, and the department relentlessly hammers the message to everyone in the ranks. Don't inhale it, don't get it on your skin, don't get it in your eyes, your nose. It is scary stuff, but Manchester is only a handful of departments in the entire country equipped with the latest technology that can help protect officers as well as aid in a crime scene investigation. Right now it's cycling through the library of all the drugs that it has internally and seeing what characteristics are identifying with it. The small device is called Tactic ID, a light wave scanner that in seconds can identify trace substances ranging from cocaine to baby powder. And it can do it without exposing the officer to the often toxic material inside the packaging. And you have a positive hit. For fentanyl. For officer safety, it is a potential game changer to combat a killer drug. A drug that dealers have shown no guilt in selling to addicts who think they're buying heroin. But it's not a half a gram of heroin, it's a half a gram of fentanyl that just became a lethal dose. And they're, they're dead. As you might imagine, these scanning devices are not cheap, running $20,000 a piece. Currently, 25 tactic IDs are being used around the country, three by the Manchester Police Department. Okay, and there you go on that report. Police in Bethlehem search for missing woman. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Lincoln Chevrolet offers you the most award-winning trucks on the road today. Drive the longest-lasting full-size pickup, the 2016 Silverado Double Cab LT four-wheel drive. Lease today for only $2.59 per month with no money down. Naked McMulkin. Tiffany Bellrose was last seen on September 16th. The 42-year-old had recently moved to Bethlehem, and that's where police are now concerned about her safety. She hasn't uh, shown up to receive her paycheck. Um, also, her friends um, are worried uh, that uh, it, it's not like her, that she wouldn't at least call. Bellrose had planned a trip to Jaffrey to visit her daughters and see her grandchildren. It's the time. On Wednesday, she never showed up, and we haven't talked to her since Sunday. Her family says Bell Rose has had a rocky past and had recently met a man who was abusive, and they are now worried she may be with him. We've tried all the phone numbers that were given to us uh, by the family, uh, the boyfriend and uh, of Tiffany, um, and um, haven't. Uh, it just goes straight to the voicemail. Police say Bell Rose was living at a support center in town. Her family says she had only been there for a short time when she disappeared. She is described as five foot two inches tall, 225 pounds with brown hair and eyes. Her family says it's not like her to not call, and they are desperate to find her. Now, the family says that Tiffany had talked about going to Florida with her boyfriend a few weeks back. Bethlehem police said that they are following up on any and all leads. And if you have any information about where Bellrose may be, call them. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR. Okay, and there you go on that report. Moments before Keith Lamarck Scott's fatal shooting seen in new video. Let's take a look. Hands off! 
Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. He has no weapon. He has no weapon. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. He didn't do anything. He doesn't have a gun. He has a TBI. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. Keith, don't let them break the windows. Come on. Okay, and there you go on in that video as you just saw. A video capturing the moments leading up to the following. The fatal police shooting of Keith Lamont Scott, which has sparked days of protests across the city of Charlotte, was released by the man's family today. Stocks snap three-day win streak, but close higher for the week. Oil, apple, slide. U.S. stocks closed lower on Friday, with energy falling more than 1% as oil prices fell sharply while investors designated key manufacturing data following two strong sessions. Major Ohio paper endorses Clinton after years of backing GOP. Let's take a listen to this video from CNN. Uh, Donald Trump has run a deplorable campaign. Uh, he has accepted uh, support and been cheered on by the likes of uh, David Duke, the former Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan and other white supremacists. In fact, it was amazing the other day, his running mate, Mike Pence, right. didn't even call former KKK leader David Duke deplorable. And, and I do think we have to speak out against this hatred. You know, Trump attacked a federal judge for his Mexican heritage. He, he bullied a gold star family because of their Muslim faith. He promoted the lie, and he still is promoting the lie, that our first black president is not a true American. Mm. Called women, pigs, and bimbos. Okay, and there you go on that report. That does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.